Hello everyone, welcome to Common Cantonese Words Every Beginner Must Know series. Now, in this lesson, we will go over the words associated with the Chinese characters of listen, live, run, say, see, and send out. Now, the words, if you really wanted to study, please check out our Android app in, in which it contains the flashcards and quizzes for the words that you will be learning in this lesson. The first Chinese character that I wanted to talk about is the Chinese character that is uh, that means to listen. In Cantonese, we pronounce it as ting. Ting. Now, there is also other pronunciation of it as well, such as ting, ting, or ting. Tang. So the pronunciation of this will be different depending on the words that are associated with it. So, for example, if you want to say have heard, then you would say Tang Do. Tang Do. However, though, if you are uh, uh, saying tomorrow, uh, in this case, it would be pronounced as ting ya. Ting ya. If you want to say tomorrow night in Cantonese, then you could say ting man. Ting man. Now, if you want to say hear or listen, you could say tang gin. Tang gin. Now, it can also be pronounced as tengin, tengin, and that would make sense also. Now, if you want to say to attend a lecture or to listen to a talk in Cantonese, then it would be tenggong, tenggong. And if you say to have heard in Cantonese, then you can say tengguo. Now, if you wish to study these words in flashcard or quiz format, please check out in the app on the flashcard set named Words to Listen. Now, the second Chinese character that I wanted to talk about is the one that means to live. And in Cantonese, it is pronounced sang. Sang. Now, if I want to say life in Cantonese, it is pronounced sang ming. Sang ming. Now, in some cases, this character can also be pronounced as sang. Sang. And this actually means raw in Cantonese. Now, this pronunciation can be found in the word, for example, business, in which you pronounce as sang yi, sang yi. Though you can also say sang yi, but it's less common. So most likely you would hear the word sang yi. Likewise, for birthday, you would usually say sang ya, sang ya. Though sometimes you might heard the pronunciation sang ya as well. However, though, that is quite rare. So stick with sang ya. Sang ya. And lastly, if you want to say lifestyle or activity in Cantonese, then it will be sang wood. Sang wood. Now, if you wish to review these words in the app, please look at the flashcard set named Words to Live. The third Chinese character that I wanted to talk about is the Chinese character that means to run. And in Cantonese, it is pronounced zhao. Zhao. Now, to walk on in Cantonese, it is pronounced zhao sheng. Zhao sheng. Now, in Cantonese, there's one saying that uh, to walk on the end of the road means you have reached 
the dead end or your own demise, then in Cantonese you would say 走上绝路, 走上绝路, which literally means to walk on the dead, uh, towards the dead end. Now, to walk into in Cantonese is pronounced 走入, 走入. So, for example, if I wanted to say um, to walk into a tunnel, then I would say 走入隧道, 走入隧道, where 隧道 is tunnel in this case. Now, to move away from or to walk away from in Cantonese, it is 走出, 走出. So, for example, to walk away from darkness, in this case, we would say 走出黑暗, 走出黑暗, where 黑暗 is darkness. To walk over to, in Cantonese, it is 走去, 走去. So, for example, if I want to say to walk over to the bank, then I would say 走去银行. 走去银行. And lastly, to move two words in Cantonese, then it is 走向, 走向. Now, if I want to say to move two words fashion or modern fashion in Cantonese, then we would say 走向时尚, 走向时尚. Where si sang means modern fashion. Now, if you wish to review these words, please look at our app under the flashcard set named Words to Run. Next, I would like to talk about the Chinese character uh, that means to say. And in Cantonese, we pronounce it as wa. Wa. So, um, if you want to use to express indifference on the part of the speaker, like I don't care, then I would say wa ji, wa ji. Now this doesn't isn't going to be expressed alone. So for example, you need to actually add some words in the end to it. So for example, if I say I don't care about you, now I would say wa ji nei, wa ji nei. Now, if I want to say tell me in Cantonese, then I would say wa ngo ji, wa ngo ji. Now, lastly, if I want to say the topic of conversation, then I would say wa tai, wa tai. Now, if you wish to review these words, uh, please look at our app under the flashcard set named words to say. The fifth Chinese character that I want to talk about is the one that means to see. And in Cantonese, it is pronounced gin. Gin. Now, to see or have seen in Cantonese, we would say gin dou. Gin dou. So, for example, if I say I saw you or I see you in Cantonese, then I would say Ngo kin do ne. Ngo kin do ne. Now, if I want to say I have seen you before in Cantonese, then I would say Ngo kin guo ne. Ngo kin guo ne. Where kin guo is I have, have seen before. Now, to meet in Cantonese, then you would say gin min. Gin min. Now, if you wish to actually uh, study these words in uh, the app, please look at the flashcard set named Words to See. The last character that I wanted to talk about is the Chinese character that is the meaning of uh, to send out. Or in this case, it is pronounced fa. Fa. Now, if I want to say to develop 
in Cantonese, then I would say fa jin, fa jin. And if I want to say to discover in Cantonese, then I would say fa yin, fa yin. If I wanted to say to happen in Cantonese, then I would say fa sang, fa sang. To find, to detect, or to discover in Cantonese, we would say fa go, fa go. Now, to be lucky or to strike it lucky or to strike it rich, we would say in Cantonese fa da, fa da. Now, this particular Chinese character, if you actually play mahjong, you would realize that this is actually one of the um, characters that you would find in uh, one of the tiles or four of the tiles. And this particular character in that sense actually means lucky or rich. Now, if you want to study uh, these words in the app, please look at the flashcard set named Words to Send Out. Now, if you like the content and you like the knowledge that you learn, please like and subscribe to our channel, as well as if you have not done so already, I recommend you to download our Cantonese learning app in which the link is in the description below. So this app contains the flash de uh, flashcard decks as well as the quizzes of the words that you have learned in this lesson as well as um, the other lessons that I have offered in my channel. Also, if you have any other learning questions or uh, want to connect with other people who are learning Cantonese uh, the same as you, please join our community Discord channel um, in which I will be there as well as uh, other learners will be there to answer your questions as well as to mingle. And of course, the Discord channel link is in the description below as well. Now, thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next lesson.